This is one of my favorite things to do for Carriage House. It's called testimony time. My wife is all about testimonies. Churches should follow up in their testimonies. So what I'm about to tell you is my past weekend, right outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I went to a small church, super cool young pastoral couple. The pastor's wife leads worship and plays a keyboard. And uh, this is so unusual. She knows who I am. I've been doing a long time. And Saturday, I walked in about 9.30 for a 10 o'clock training session. And uh, at 10 to 10, we had everything set up. Uh, she went to the keyboard and began to play. And it, and it was five to 10, then it was five after. It was so pure and so anointed. She had no idea. She's 36 years old, has a new baby, and uh, just needed you know somebody to confirm for her who she was. And it, then it turned into 20 after 10. I finally, and she told me later, she was thinking in her mind, now Kent, they didn't come to see me. You need to get up here. But it was like an open heaven. Uh, she had a real thick pad going. Um, and then when I walked up, we started ministering at a super high level. Everybody got hands laid on them. We anointed them with oil. And afterwards, she said, Kent, I, I can't believe that I led worship for you, you didn't lead for me. And so I ended up praying for her and the whole weekend was such a lift to her because I think she was tired. There are a lot of things going on. You have a young baby, they have a, a little girl as well, uh, four years old. And I'm telling you, it was so powerful because the Holy Spirit intervened with a huge time of refreshing, not only by me leading worship, but by her being on the keyboard and actually flowing in her gifting. Do not forget this, you guys, that when you flow in your gifting and your anointing, as a matter of fact, don't let anybody ever talk you out of doing what you do in worship, your guitar, your violin, your piano, because when I'm doing worship, even in public settings, that's where I become untouchable. It, I, I'm in such a zone with the Lord, and that's what happened. Uh, to the pastor's wife that I was just with and very powerful. So this testimony is Acts 3.19. We repented, we were converted. Check out the scripture, Acts 3.19, so that the times of refreshing would come from his presence, not from our playing, not from our singing, but the times of refreshing released at a high level, it knows no boundaries. It has its own power. His presence knows no boundaries. So for Miss Megan, I sent her a shout out. Uh, she's the best. She's the bomb. And uh, after two days of doing that and that Saturday morning session was like revitalizing to everybody. So take it into your heart. Check it out. Acts 319. Times of refreshing from his presence. I love you guys. Thanks for watching our video, you guys. We really appreciate your heart and your support. Like the video, also subscribe to our channel, and finally, turn on your notifications for further updates and post the videos we're gonna be doing. Appreciate you guys, God bless.